Raiding has become a massive part to MMORPGs, something that once started as a challenging way to get gear has evolved into an eSport level event which can see guilds race the clock to down that first boss to be awarded that world first title, or even on a smaller scale racing their servers to be the ones that knock down that new bad guy before anyone else. While not all MMORPGs adopt this to an eSport level like World of Warcraft does, there still has always been that server competition between guilds, especially when there are in-game rewards or achievements that can go with it. But the way Ashes of Creation is designed will make it a lot more difficult to even compete with each other on this larger scale level, and there are systems in place that will ultimately slow down or perhaps even make the competition a bit unfair at times. The first of these systems are the death penalties. If you die in Ashes of Creation, there is a price you will pay. Ashes is a heavy risk versus reward game, and any big reward you go after may ultimately cause you to fall to the biggest risk, death. Since we are talking PvE here, I will save you the details of the corruption system and go at this as if every player in your raid is flagged as a non-combatant. What this means is that you haven't engaged in PvP at all. You don't have anything altering your death penalties and will pay the normal price upon death. This price can include skill and stat dampening such as lowering your health and mana, lower gear proficiency, and reduction in loot drop rates from mobs. It also causes durability loss to your gear and has you drop a percentage of carried gatherable materials. And on top of all of this, you will accumulate an XP debt which will scale to 2 or 3% of the total XP for the max player level. Now, some of you may not be worried about this. You think, well, I'm not going to die, I'm going to be a pro at this game. But if you're looking at getting into endgame raiding, and if Intrepid plans to have unique bosses that evolve beyond your typical tank and spank, then you are gonna die. Learning a new raid boss comes with death. Guilds looking to hit that world first don't instantly learn the mechanics. The bosses they're racing to kill are generally new to the game, so they study the PTR as much as they can, and they learn from trial and error. Error involves death, death involves penalties, and penalties will slow you down, and cause those guilds that aim to be competitive to really take a different approach to how they are going to handle each different situation. Ashes of Creation will in fact have a PTR though, that's what Alpha 2 is going to be at the start, and that Alpha 2 server is going to transition into the PTR come around launch time, so it isn't impossible for guilds to jump in and learn new fights with little risk to their main characters, but it isn't exactly going to be easy either. Since Ashes of Creation is built off of nodes, while there is no guarantee that the PTR you're playing on will match up to anything on the server you actually main on, and for nodes to not become stale, and Intrepid can't just release one new raid at a time. They need to drop multiple that they can fill the various node setups so all the players have something to do. If they drop just one raid for every patch that all players can do, it's going to eventually make node strategy pointless if everyone gets everything new and not tied behind the node. They can fix this by implementing more than one raid at a time so that despite which node setup the server may have, you will still actually have content to play, even if it's different than what somebody else is playing on a different server. And due to this, well, fighting for that world first kill probably won't be possible, because a world first fight isn't exactly a fair fight if only a small selection of servers are even on the same boss. You can still do this on a server by server basis though. Along with all of this, the majority of raids in Ashes of Creation are open world, and typically with open world raiding, it's a numbers game, not a skill based game, which I'm hoping Intrepid finds a way to solve. But this means when a new raid unlocks, you can expect resistance, you can expect every hardcore raiding guild on your server to have eyes on that new boss and its new loot. And the majority of them are heading there in the same time frame because most people raid at server prime time and they all want to be the first to take it down, which will create some massive PvP chaos surrounding these PvE guilds. And since raids aren't considered PvP zones, the corruption system will be in full play, with guilds baiting each other to go corrupt, causing more significant death penalties which will really slow things down and on top of this, raid bosses will be adapting to the number of players within the raid becoming more challenging. So regardless if you're there for PvP or PvE, it's going to make that boss that much stronger, 
causing chaos for those guilds who now have to fight an increasingly difficult boss on top of fighting off other guilds to prevent them from stealing their kill. Raiding in general could be absolutely insane at times. Which is why I believe that there is no room for a competitive scene when it comes to PvE guilds in Ashes of Creation, outside of instance content. While Ashes of Creation is setting up to be a PvX game, it is very clear that PvP will be pretty dominant throughout the game, and those who normally just want to enjoy that PvE content will either have to adapt or perhaps find a different game to play that better fits your needs. Now let me know your thoughts on competitive rating in Ashes of Creation in the comments down below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.